Breaking news, it's coming in. NASA's Crew-10 has now docked at the International Space Station. The Crew-10's docking with ISS is successful. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are now closer to homecoming. SpaceX Dragon has now docked autonomously. My colleague Shibu is joining me live on the broadcast uh, for more on this. Uh, Shibu, we are learning that the Crew-10 has successfully docked with the International Space Station. What happens next? Good morning, uh, Chitna. The Crew-10 has now successfully docked. Uh, what happens next is that the crew will transfer into the space station. So they'll exit the Dragon spacecraft through the, uh, the vestibule and enter into the space station. Uh, post that, a week-long uh, transfer of science research handover will take place, uh, during which uh, Commander uh, uh, Sunita Williams, who was the commander of the space station, will hand over all the science research, the experiments that were done, the studies that are being conducted to the new group uh, before uh, undocking from the space station. Right. Uh, Shibu, for, for some background, uh, could you tell us who the Crew-10 members are and uh, what would they stay at ISS entail? They're going to be staying there for six months. Uh, could you speak to us a little bit about that? Uh, so, the Crew-10 members include four astronauts. These are two NASA astronauts, a Japanese uh, space agency astronaut and a Russian Roscosmos uh, astronaut. So, the Crew-10 will now live on the space station for a, uh, for a period of six months. So, we have to know that the, 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 uh, the crew missions are basically rotational missions. They go on a duration of six months during which they stay in the space station, they work on the space station, do multiple science uh, research uh, studies and also spacewalks. Uh, we have to see that Sunita Williams conducted two spacewalks during her extended uh, uh, stay in space. So the four astronauts will now replace uh, four astronauts living in the space station, uh, which is Crew-9. Uh, the Crew-9 includes uh, NASA astronauts, a Russian astronauts, uh, who will now undock from the space station or sometime around March 19th or after March 19th uh, to return to Earth. Right. Uh, Shibu, you know, could, could you speak to us a little bit about if, if this, whatever has happened, their extended stay, if this could help, you know, prepare NASA for future missions, not just to prevent astronauts from being stranded, but in case that happens to maybe mitigate the effects of microgravity on the body, uh, what uh, the changes that we saw Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore and the other astronauts experiencing? Uh, definitely, NASA uh, has been uh, studying the effect of long-duration space travel. Uh, we know that NASA is working on the Artemis mission, which is to build a colony and have a sustained presence on the moon. Uh, this will be followed by uh, missions to Mars. So these will be long duration space travel, which will include months and months of space, space flight.